Hey everybody, welcome back. Todd here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be spending a little bit of time in the shop and I want to show you motorcyclists, my scissor lift that I've got for my 2021 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. It's been a real game changer for working on the bike. I went for a long time without one. I would jump on Amazon, look at some of them, etc., and go, ah, I can make it without it. But I got to tell you, this is a game changer. So come on with me and let me show you this jack because I think if you don't have one, it's something you really need to take a look at. Okay, here's the jack. When it folds up, it folds down to like, you know, three and a half inches, something like that. And it's pretty small. The, the platform is like a little over nine inches if you go all the way to the metal outside. But I think the platform is set up to be like nine inches by 14 and a half. Plenty. And again, I use it on my 2021 Harley Davidson Sport Glide. That bike, I think, wet is around 700 pounds. This is rated for like 1,100 pounds. Has no problem lifting that soft tail Harley Davidson up whatsoever. Um, it's a good size, you know, and it could be simpler. You can get a ratchet, and a lot of guys will put a ratchet on them, but. It just lifts up, and I can lift that bike up, and I'll show you in a few minutes. It just, it it goes right up there. It's going to lift it way higher than you need it to be, that's for sure, for much of what you're going to be working on it for. But I think it comes up at 13-some inches or whatever. Let's get it up here and see what that comes up to. Now, obviously, if you got a bike on it, you're not going to be spinning it with your finger, but it's easy to do by hand. What you don't want to do is, you know, put a torque wrench on it, or I mean, a, a, a power wrench on it, because these things aren't made for that. So, there's the top. We're sitting at 14 inches. So, it goes up, you know, there it is on the side. Before we go over to the bike, I want to show you something. See this spot right here that's buggered up on my rubber? I'm going to show you on your Harley Davidson soft tail what will make that, how to avoid it. Okay, I talked about what buggered up the top of my lift. You can see right here, there's a weld on the bottom of the frame right there now let me kind of yeah well there's one on the other side also so what you want to do is to go ahead and slide this in between the two of those and that'll avoid buggering up the top of your lift so here's the lift in place you should be able to see where that weld is right there. I'm off to the side of that one, and I think you can see the one through on the other side. Simply position the lift up underneath the frame, and then you're going to crank it up. Here's the lift on the other side. You can see the weld that I'm talking about. I'm clearly where I need to be. And then we'll just lift it up and it'll stand it right up. Okay. Let's lift it up straight.
Okay, to lift it, I'm just going to come in here. I got it positioned. Go slowly. Here it goes. It just made contact. Keep coming. Whoop. Grab the seat just so I have a feel for what's happening. Up it comes. Let it come flat now. Get my I like my front tire going straight. Alright. tire on the, on the ground if I'm not you know working on anything like that it's nice and solid to let it down we're just going to reverse the process I like to grab it again by the seat I've checked the kickstand make sure I'm good just let it come and bam we're back on the kickstand Pull it out. Nice and straight, sturdy. Sitting up nice and straight. Plenty of surface down there on both sides. And now you know, for working on the bike, we're setting up nice and tall, nice and straight. Don't have to worry about it falling off the stand. Again, it's, it's sturdy. I just take your time as you're lifting it up. You know, if you rush it or whatever, that's when bad things are going to happen. Just, I'd rather have it take me a, a little bit longer just to get it up because I'm being overly cautious than to rush through it and have something move on me and... And then all of a sudden it's not as solid as it needs to be. To let it down, I'm just going to double check, make sure that, you know, my kickstand's down all the way. And then I'm just going to reverse the process. back down okay that's going to do it for today's video hopefully you found this to be helpful if you don't have one of these if you've been thinking about it i'm going to put a link in the description um, to stark usa it's a usa manufacturer builds heavy duty stuff i really like you know their products and I think this thing is like, you know, 80 bucks or something on Amazon. So again, I'll put a link in there. Hey, I'd be interested in knowing what you guys are doing. Um, drop me a comment. Let me know what you're using for a lift. If you've had good luck with it, that kind of a thing. Do me a favor, hit the like button and share this if you know somebody that might benefit from it. And of course, uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that you'll... Um, get notification when I drop another video. So, all right, we'll see you on the next one.